What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and in today's video I'm going to show you guys why I'm always out of AP. <laughs> no, actually no, um, I'm going to show you guys how uh, I auto soul 10, Orochi stage 10. Um, mostly what I do is we team up, I team up with my guildmates, you know, um, all of us are from Nura. So there's a, the main requirement for this would be first to have a grade 6 DPS. It could be Ubume, it could be Ibaraki, it could be Utengu. Any one of these three and it's fine. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use other AOE DPSs too or, or single target DPSs. But the most popular ones right now that, that people have are either Utengu, Ubume or Ibaraki Doji. Uh, Ibaraki Doji. So yeah, um, what's important in this is to have the one, to have... Um, well, you can use a Kagura. I could use Kagura, but to make it safer, we use like a level 40 Totem Seimei. So when you use a level 40 Totem Seimei, um, it can then just... Because you're going to be doing it on auto, right? So when Seimei buffs the attack bar, uh, attack buff skill, right? Um, and Rabbit buffs the her attack skill, like her move bar and attack skill. When she, uh, when, when it's her turn again and Seimei's buff is there, Oh, she won't do the ring toss, you know, she'll, she'll do her bunny dance again. That's one of the reasons, right? Um, so the team consists of basically just uh, your Muji, which is either Seimi or Kagura, whichever that you like. Then um, Yama Usagi, the rabbit, Zashiki, the lighter, and 3 DPS. The turn order should be the bunny goes first, then your first DPS moves. After your first DPS moves, moves then it'll be Zashiki so that she can trade off and after that will be your uh, after that will be Seimei or your second DPS it's uh, whatever it is you know and then after that it's, it's the rest of your DPS the rest of your team so basically that's just it the, what, the first thing you need to note is bunny moves first first DPS moves next then Zashiki then after that the, the turn order for Seimei and the other two the other two DPS don't really matter, you know, you can be whatever order it is. But yeah, that's basically how it is. And um, we run this for, because because I play like four or five hours. No, actually, no, over the weekend, I've been playing a lot more than this. I've been playing a lot more than four or five hours. So, because I've been trying to get better souls, you know, like, like, soul up all my team and also to get, um, everyone else like up to g5 g4 yeah so this really burns up my ap like well when you do under a minute runs mm, you'll be spending like how much is that one one run is four ap four ap let's assume it's it's a minute all right so you can do like 10 let's let's not say 10 runs let's say you can do eight runs a minute uh, in 10 minutes. 8 runs in 10 minutes, just like 48 runs. So let's average it out to 50 runs, right? So if you can do 50 runs, 50 times by 4 is 200 AP. That's 200 AP in an hour. And and we did this for hours. So yeah, that, that's why my AP is like... That's why I'm always out of AP. Yeah, and the cost for, for buying AP with Jade goes up higher and higher. But, but it's all good. I mean, we need all the... I need all the souls. I need all the... I need all the souls and I need all the the other drops that come from it and the coins. So it's been great, you know, like now now I don't find myself lacking coins that much. But I still find myself lacking souls because I'll be using them to upgrade and stuff. And the drops the drops aren't really I wouldn't say the drops are great, you know, like uh, it's luck dependent the drops for me so far it's still been pretty shitty like i haven't gotten any usable ones yet but it is how it is like, I mean, like this will be the screen that you'll be facing for quite some time you know until you get like I, I don't know i don't know what's in the future but for now this is probably what i'll be facing like every time i play the game you know apart from doing some exp runs and and some evo mats if i need but yeah um i mean souls are the bread and butter of the game right like it doesn't matter what what tunes you use but if if you, you have like mediocre souls on the on the tunes 
on well, not tunes like shikigamis right but it doesn't matter what shikigami you use if you have bad souls on them you know that the, it's gonna be a bad setup anyway so yeah that, exactly like summoners war where runes were the heart of the game you know like souls are the heart of this game right and um let's let's talk about a bit about when to start or stop farming kraken right because a lot of people have been saying that um you know kraken's not worth it or yeah kraken's awesome kraken's op here's what i think you start farming kraken once you've cleared orochi 10 the first time around right farm it for a few days and until you can get like either your first great six speed soul or until you can soul up your your main dps the, the first g yeah g great six shikigami that you'll be bringing up once that's done then you can just like do what this is right like like me like i'm, I'm just teaming up with my guildmates and going here or you know you you can not farm the kraken right don't farm the kraken at all get a great six dps or you know bring your same to level 40 you know have have bunny at a slightly faster speed and and also like have a minimum minimum hit point of i think six seven k hp yeah six to seven k hp minimum six to seven k hp will be enough to tank the damage of you know to to survive all the way to the end right survive all the way to the end and um and you'll be all good but you still need like a, you know a, you still need a great 6 dps because it's not going to work without it so i mean you can work with with a great 5 dps you know but that also you know it, it's dependent on the souls that you have like if you have great souls on the great 5 dps then obviously it's going to work right but if you have like really mediocre souls on a great 6 then it might not really work so it is dependent on the souls still i think for clearing this dungeon so or you can find like op friends like like not my not me my utengu is pretty shit still like um, examples like you know like mother's ubume or marshals i'm not gonna drop names you know? <laughs> like like you guys can find like your friends uh, whoever that you can find you can bond or or you can invite to, to soul 10 but basically this is how um, I run my soul 10 and this is pretty much what I do every time I log into on Muji now so yeah if you found this video helpful do leave a like comment and hopefully subscribe this is off signing out then.